All right, hey everyone, welcome back to the eBay shop. My name's Corey. I'm Teresa. And we are Grams and Pops Vintage. Today is Monday, and that means we've got to pull all of our orders from the weekend. eBay did pick back up a little bit. We've got about 22 items going out for right around 800 and how much? Eight, 820. 820. That is with shipping and taxes and everything in it. Take those out, we're looking at closer to $600, so about a $200 a day average through the weekend, which... We'll take that. It's not exactly what we want, but it's not a terrible weekend either. So a lot of it is small items with a few bigger ones mixed in. So we're just going to go ahead and start grabbing those. And then we'll talk to you about some of our plans to get rid of some of this other stuff that you see in the background here all the time. So uh, what's our first order? Our a first item? 19, are they 88? 1988 football Sam Mills rookie card graded 9.5 all right so that's him right there all right so that's one of our actual graded cards and he went out for what 66 dollars and 45 cents all right so we had about 20 i believe about 21 dollars in him with the grading so right, what do you got next a disney nebula figurine oh. or cake topper it's just this little tiny thing i think we got a bunch of these weren't these like the what if characters or something i think i i I'd have so, to Google it. I don't remember. We got a bunch of these. I don't know. I don't think we paid much for them. 60 cents. Okay. And, we and she sold for what? $3.75. So nothing big, but easy shipper. We'll get her out of here. Up right. next is a DVD that I've never even heard of. It's Punching the Clowns. This is one, I believe, it's about comedians. And given the title, I'm thinking maybe one Will Smith should have probably watched. We paid 45 cents for that part of our bulk buy, and it went out the door for $8.40. What you got next? I think it's it's pronounced Cisna, uh, Cisna Black Speckled Enamelware Set. It's on that one shelf from the storage oh. unit. All right, that's that one there. I think I got all of them. It's a pan and two plates. I believe that was all in with the camping stuff in mm -hmm. the storage unit we bought. Yep, and that, I don't have a cost because we're just bulking it all up, but it went out the door for $9.49 plus shipping. Up next is a box of 1988 football cards. They are the white box. These guys here, all right, and those are in the clear, so these are all profit, and what those sell for? That one sold for $135. What you got for me? Up next, we did have some lots of Department 56 stuff that I just lotted together when I didn't know at first, um, so I separated them out, and it sold the Department 56 gatehouse. One of them guys. Try not to drop it out of there. So it is just a little gatehouse. I don't think it's lighted or nope, anything. No, it's not. And we didn't make a whole lot off of it. It was part of a bulk. This was our beginning stuff when we were doing Department 56. So we paid five bucks for it. It sold for $7. After fees. We'll make money, like maybe 25 cents. We'll make money on it. That entire bulk buy is in the profit nope. long ago anyway. Wrong bulk buy. That was some of the stuff we bought at first that we lotted together that I separated. All right, I quit. I'm just gonna turn this towards Grams. She's got you guys covered. Okay, up next is a 1988 box of football cards. They are white. Would you like me to take it and go? I'm gonna list Grams on eBay. Everybody wants me. There's another one of them. What category would you put Grams in? Very rare antique. Sesame Street? Oscar Very rare Grouch. antique. <laughs> All right, so another one of these, and that went for what? One forty-two, one forty-two fifty, right. and it would not be very rare. It would be ultra rare antique. Just so you know. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Not Should that we talk anymore. About... I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> Should we talk about our our storage hall, or do you um, want to pull some more? Yeah, we've been well, we've been going through our storage unit. And you can see there's still. We still got quite a bit of stuff in here, but we've been going through that storage unit for a while. We've been selling quite a bit out of it, actually. We had about 600 in that total with gas included to go get the thing and get it back here. We are currently at about $4,200 worth of listings. I think by the time it gets done, we're finished going through it all. We haven't listed it all, but we know what's there. I think we're gonna be sitting just north of 5,000 in listings out of that storage unit. That's the stuff we're going to list. The stuff that was garbage, we've already gotten rid of. The stuff we're not going to list on eBay, we're going to actually, we've got, well, we've got this big pile over here. All that through there. We're going to have a garage sale. 
Yeah, and that stuff is actually going to a big garage sale. A lot of it's going to be just marked as a dollar come get it type garage sale. It's not going to be, it's going to be a clearance garage sale. So everything's going to be cheap and easy to move. Some just because we don't want to ship it. Some you're not going to make enough on eBay or it just doesn't have a good sell through rate on eBay. Or for whatever reason, we're going to have a pretty good size garage sale. We did talk about having the garage sale in the eBay shop. We That's also right. have another, we have another 40 by 60 building, but it's kind of dark and dingy and it's going to be a couple of months before we can use it just because one it's it's completely blocked in with snow and snow drifts right now and when that's gone it's going to be two months of wet season in front of the doors and it's going to be a sloppy mess so we actually talked about just kind of going through the ebay shop here and tarp off in front of all these shelves and set up tables throughout the rest in here. And if we just set up tables in this big area and shelves, then I think we can actually have a garage sale right inside the building here and still hide our actual inventory, but get everything set up in a nice climate controlled building. And we could pretty much have that garage sale anytime we wanted, just however long it took us to set it up. What are your thoughts? It's a lot of work. What are your thoughts about doing it in here? I got a lot to move. We have a lot to move. You don't pack well. I pack well. She doesn't want to let me help. I pack well, so I have to move everything. You can't say I have to if you're saying I don't want you to help. You can't, you're not I allowed to say. I am going to pack everything to make it wide open. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it's all good. So we will have a garage sale. We will be having a garage sale soon, probably in the next month or so, I would guess. We'll see. When are you thinking? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's, here's how it happens. I will eventually say this is the day we're doing it. And then we will wait until the very last minute, probably the night before, to set it up. But I'll have to force her into doing it by putting a deadline and advertising it or she won't do it. So. Okay, let's go to the next thing to pull. Oh, you don't like that? No. <laughs> Let's go to the next one. What's next? Poll. So we've had a debate on how to pronounce this, but I'm pretty sure it's Schleich. 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 Goat kid with a bell. Oh, he's over here. All right, it's this little goat. These are little Schleich figures. You can pretty much find them at every runnings and every farm tractor, farm store. tractor implement store up by the registers. They're always for sale and they actually do sell well and they sell pretty quick. They're not expensive, but they're kind of like our littlest pet shop. They, they sell consistently and they take nothing to ship at all. So what do yeah. we have in here? As long as you have the ones that are retired, not the brand new ones you can buy off the store. Yeah, I wouldn't go buy the brand new ones in there and resell them. You're not going to make your money back. But. Um, they, they were in our storage unit, so I don't have, you know, a cost. But he sold for $12. Nice. For this little bee thing. The goat with a bell. It's a good one. Okay, my very last rooted Barbie. When I say rooted, rooted I mean her eyelashes are real. Um, she is a Mycene Masquerade Madness Kenzie doll. So it's purple lipstick Barbie here. And you might be able to see her eyelashes are actually, like, plugged into her face. They're real eyelashes, not painted on. Plugged into her face. <laughs> They're plugged. She's got plugged eyelashes. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, so she was part of a, a big tote of Barbies that we got. And so we have about two bucks in her. And she sold for $45. She's a spendy Barbie. If we you got... ever see the rooted Barbie, the rooted eyelash Barbies, pick them up because they do sell. Yep, that's what she said. Don't know, we can't do what she said jokes. <laughs> What's next? A uh, Starbucks Puerto Rico mug. Yeah, that one there. I believe this is one that actually had the broken handle on it. It is. It, it's the one with the broken handle. It didn't go for much just because the handle was broken and re-glued back on. I don't know if you could see it on the camera, but it does. this handle's been broken off and glued back on. They did a pretty good job of repairing it. Minus that, it is brand new. It still has a tag on yep. the bottom. So what'd that sell for? That was in our big, like, Estate at the auction. estate auction, we got a whole box of Starbucks mugs for like two bucks. So four dollars and ninety nine cents. So even the broken mug paid for that. All right, what you got? Another Barbie, a 1991 Sharon Sisters Barbie. Sharon, not like Sharon, sharing. sharing, but with no G. Did this girl, Sharon and her sisters. No, not Sharon and her sister, sharing. Sharing sisters. Sharing. As in share your sister or sisters that share. Sharing, S-H-A-R-I-N apostrophe. This her. So she was part of a bulk buy of Barbies. We're getting close to being fully paid for on those. And we sold her for $17.49. Alright, we got next. A oh, weird thing. We sold a Wababa Waboba Sea Animal Boxfish Ball. 
It is a ball that skips across the water. That's the idea of it. He's kind of a cute little thing. That's him right there. He's part of our, our storage auction yep. and he sold for what? $8.45. Up next, I didn't even know what this was. Elvis Presley Clam Bake DVD. So we got our Elvis movie there. Like what's it about? Clams, I guess. 45 cents in that. It says flashy showmanship scads of pretty girls and Elvis. I guess that's what it's about. It sold for 10 bucks. Is this boring for you? No, I just have to yawn. Um, up next is a unbranded quilted diaper slash tote bag. All right, let's see, is this one here? So we spent, we spent like the last week listing bags and shoes and clothes. Mm -hmm. And I know we listed over $800 worth of shoes and clothes, mm -hmm. probably another 300 or so in bags. Mm -hmm. And All... I haven't listed my, what's You're... that one? That little purse. Your coach purse? Yeah, my coach purse. I haven't listed that one. Yeah, we still have we still have a huge like Christmas tree size tote full of full of bags. I think we've listed almost probably over a grand worth of bags, clothes, clothes and shoes. Mm. Most of them out of that storage auction. This one sold for what? Twenty three dollars and fifty cents. Twenty three fifty for a generic paisley diaper bag. Okay, back in the day I used to bake lots of cakes, but I never made this one. I have a two thousand eight Spidey Man cake pan. Here we are. All right, that's it right there. It looks about brand new and it's got a hanger thing on it. They are hangers. So and we, I don't think it's ever been used, but... What do we got for that? We got $8.99 for that. Not a lot. Then Corey spent like a whole day listing this stuff. These people had an aquarium out of our storage unit and so we sold an aquarium log. Had, yeah, I think they had several aquariums. We actually found... Well, there's two 10-gallon aquarium tanks, but they must have had a really large aquarium too because we found a lot of big stuff. We sold an aquarium log that has fake plants on it. You can see we've got a tote of aquarium stuff there. We've also got one, two, three totes of like pumps and lights and all kinds of aquarium stuff down there. And this is the log that sold. And surprisingly, this decorative aquarium stuff actually has quite a bit of value. What did that one sell for? $23 for a little log. The next three things um, all went to the same person. First up is a 1992 Barbie troll doll. All right, she's got troll clothes on. She is a troll, troll branded doll. What did she sell for? A whopping $6.50. The important thing is she's gone. We didn't have, well, I don't know how much we had in her for sure. She was part of our bulk buy two of Barbies. Then some LOL doll accessories for their winter disco chalet. A couple of chairs and a table. Oh, that's these these guys here. They say the chairs are blue. They have a blue tint to them, but they look purple to me. I think they're supposed to be like ice. They are. It's the Winter Disco Chalet. See if I can get my big hand out of the way. There they are. And those sold for what? $8.25. And they are part, I don't have a full cost yet because they're part of my three drawer tote that I haven't listed everything and divided it out yet. And then an Easter edition charm Barbie dress. Is that one there? I think. We're probably going to make close to as much off the clothing for those Barbies than we are, as we are off the Barbies. Yep, and we don't have costs allocated to the clothes just because they're minuscule. And I haven't even listed them all yet because I can't identify some of them. Yep. So. And those could just go right in an envelope and ship right out. Yep. So what would we get for that one? $4. So total it was for that order, it was like $18.75. That's what they paid? That's... The cost. Oh, those are all together. I yes. got gotcha. you. Yes. I got gotcha. you. Um, then another Barbie thing. Well, it's not Barbie. It's Rainbow High. I didn't want to list them individually, so I just did a furniture lot for their dollhouse. That bag there. And what is that? It's furniture? It's a lot of furniture. So there's a nightstand in there. There is a table. Oh, there it is. It says table with gold, clear chair, nightstand, and clothes stand. Yeah, so it's like so. the the long thing that you hang clothes on. So what did what'd that sell for? $9.95. It was in my three-door tote, so... I'm pretty sure by now I'm pretty well in the clear for it because I think they only paid like 40 bucks for it. And I haven't listed everything. Harry Potter fans. I have a Vera Bradley Harry Potter coffee mug. I thought Vera Bradley made bags. No, Vera Bradley makes a whole lot of stuff. So apparently Vera Bradley and Harry Potter got together and decided to make a mug. It's all um, like herbs and plants. Looks like Groot. There you go. Herbs and plants. But we bought it at Savers. Probably wasn't a great deal, but we paid four bucks for it and we sold it for 15. 
and my favorite word lastly, we sold an Ensco Memories of Yesterday. It's called Friday's Child is Loving and Giving. So there's that one right there. And this one's actually out of a estate sale we saw just recently. We just happened to be driving by it. Saw a sign. Went and checked out and we bought a whole nother lot of these Enscos yep. for 20 bucks? I think so. I think we I paid think 20 we got, bucks for the whole lot and... I think we got 18 of them out of it and yeah. they were a buck 18 a piece. Yep. And we sold that one for 18.99. So we're almost clear just with one we got 17 left. Yep. Even though we were almost all gone, I think we had five of them left from our last big box that we yeah. bought. What was that? You a turtle? No, I'm a dancing from my chair to drive you nuts. <laughs> all right so i think that's about it i think we just got to get this stuff packed up and we'll get it out of here we got a lot of packing to do today but it's all pretty small in size stuff so it shouldn't take i don't think we have anything here big enough for like a number seven priority i think everything's pretty much small so football cards yeah we'll get these packed and out of here if you guys have suggestions what do you do with your extra inventory do you guys do a garage sale like we're talking about do you guys just redonate it because it's not worth your time what do you do with your overflow stuff you're not going to sell online rather it be on ebay macari poshmark whatever it is where does that inventory go for you right now this is the first time we've had to actually do anything with it. Everything we've had so far, we individually cherry pick from garage sales or thrift stores. Now that we've got this storage unit in this auction lot, we find we have a lot of stuff that we're just not going to list. So that's a new road for us. Let us know in the comments what you guys would do with it or what you do with your own. And we'll see you guys next time. Hasta la vista. Do I need to redo that? Did you feel like a dork doing it? Mm-hmm. I'd redo it. Hasta la vista. <laughs>